Hi, this is going to be a short video pointing out some of the strange things that I see happening and I think they've only started happening since the latest iOS software release. So let's take a look at some of the stacked images that are coming directly out of the dwarf. Back in uh, April, when I first started using the dwarf, I had really good results. This image is directly out of the dwarf. There's no processing on this at all. This was the stacked image and it just came out perfect. I didn't see any um, hot spots or pixels. There may be some in there, but overall you can't see them. Then April 22nd, and you can see some some noise in here, but this is the image that was stacked from the dwarf. I followed their directions. I created the dark files. Um, I think this was, a, there may be a tiny little um, hot spot or pixelation right there. Yeah, I see something right there. But overall, you know, that's hardly nothing. Now, I'm assuming that, you know, these hot spots, there's some electrical system in the dwarf. It might be, it may be the battery, or it might be the motor for rotating, the lenses for tracking, I don't know. But whatever it is, uh, this current, is causing part of the sensor to generate some hot spots. So I would expect that over time, as the camera tracks, that those uh, pixels, if it was the same 10 pixels, that it would cause a smooth arc mirroring the Earth's rotation. But it looks like in some cases, you know, it wiggles around like that. So maybe it's just an area, a sensor, part of the sensor that there's a certain probability you're going to get a hot spot. And in some places it's higher than others, but that it may be a larger area than just this. And I don't know how long this exposure was, but maybe you get a worse condition the longer, the longer uh, your exposures are. So we saw that April 5th looked now, now, this was May 5th. This is on May 5th now, and I'm starting to see lots of this stuff. And, of course, it's trailing, mirroring the Earth's rotation. But you notice it's not... Um, let's zoom in. It's not a perfectly smooth arc. So I'm thinking that's some probability... Uh, that should be assigned to pixels in that area. And I'm not sure Dwarf is modeling these right. Um, so that's May, this was May 5th. May 7th, this one's really visible. Look at this. This is uh, May 7th last night. So the only thing that has changed between April and May is they've had some major software releases. And I'm wondering if they have changed the way they're modeling the darks. If you go look at the darks folder, the darks folder will have all these exposures set at 15 seconds and it'll have different gains. So uh, for example, some of those pictures were at gain 80. I go in there, oh, look at that. There's nothing there. Oh yeah, there is, okay. There are three measurements. Somehow I'm, I'm not comfortable with only three measurements. And then do these measurements, are they, do they have a wide enough window to handle that um, probability of the surrounding pixels also being lit up? So in April, this seemed to be working. May, all of my pictures, every single one comes out with these horrible, 
uh, green, blue, red, squiggle lines. And of course, green's always worse because green is, but it's much worse than it was in April. So I'm hoping that Dwarf will look at this and see if there's a way to improve this. And maybe it's my, maybe it's this thing. Maybe my camera is different than other people's camera. Something's happened. And so now we need to model the noise in my camera a little bit differently. Maybe Dwarf can build something in a setting so that you can adjust the sensitivity um, of the corrections for your darks. Maybe, you know, you could dial in normal darks or really noisy darks. But I took special uh, precautions last night. I didn't use a power source. I did my darks right before I went outside. Um, and I was absolutely had the camera in a place where there was no light. And this, this is really lit up. It, that's bad. So the dark should be able to correct for this. And I'm sure if I, when I go back, I, I also collected some darks, not the dwarf way, but by just covering up the lens and making sure everything was dark. And I collected uh, images at the right exposure and the right gain. And I'm gonna process, post process this stuff later and I'm sure I'll be able to take this out, but this is showing up in my stacked image and it shouldn't. So I'm hoping Dorf will do something about that. Overall though, I'm having fun with the camera. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I may buy the Dwarf 3 if it comes out to do planetary imaging, I'll probably buy that too. Okay, that's it. Thank you.